This is it, guys. This is Elbaf. I think at least, right? Not confirmed yet, but I'm thinking that we finally made it to Elbaf and I'm, you know, super excited for this arc because this arc, this area has been, you know, talked about since even before Wano, before the time skip by Usopp. And I'm hoping that there's big things that are going to happen for Usopp in this chapter or not chapter in this arc. But yeah, sit back, grab your cup of coffee, tea and, uh, you know, enjoy. And this one I got in Japan. Highly recommend everybody visit Japan. Beautiful, beautiful place, awesome food. And a Gear 5 shirt from there too. So um, there's a lot of people that are split on this topic and this decision on the hallucination aspect. And I'm not really sure. I don't think there's any benefit to playing the, the hallucination playing a role because Usopp's taking damage. Nami didn't take damage, right? Who's we're taking the point of Nami. And there's some inconsistencies that people are pointing out about the chapter. And I don't know how I feel about it because I want to say this is this is uh, all completely real. There's no hallucination aspect of it. I think that was just a, a green herring. Is that what it's called? Um, where it's kind of like trying to take your eyes off the main topic and it's like oh it's all it might be an illusion it might be an hallucination i don't like that aspect i don't like that i i, I just i'm thinking this is all we're taking at it taking it as it is so uh, i did want to point out some some inconsistencies that people are saying so let me go through real quick some inconsistencies sanji apparently doesn't like insects but he's talking about eating the insects no problem Luffy with his, uh, he had a sword on his back and then you cut to another panel. The next panel, he has an axe on his back. When he uses gear four, he's not actually in gear four. He's using what looks like gear third. And um, they were saying something about <clears throat> Zoro. I, I couldn't pinpoint it. And Sanji, when he goes to kick, it looks like he's using his left leg to kick instead of what he was charging, which was his right leg. Just some inconsistencies on that part. And if you take it from Nami's point of view, it makes kind of some sense, I guess. Um, because she maybe, but the gear four thing doesn't make sense. Gear four, you know, he's in a state. She's seen him fight in gear four. He's in a different state of, of being like he's, he's in a different form. Versus using gear third where he enlarges only one attack. I don't know. I feel like Nami would know that a gear fourth is it, what a gear fourth versus a gear third is. Maybe not. Maybe maybe I'm taking it for granted, you know. I'm, and I'm, uh, you know, putting putting more thought into it. But anyway, I don't think this is a... Maybe he did it really quickly. I don't know. I, I'm taking it as this is not an hallucination. I think this is all real. Because Usopp got hit. And I'm taking it as face value. <laughs> so I'm going to go through the chapter. And I did want to mention one thing. So they mentioned we have to report this to the sun god. And I'm thinking, who is the sun god? And I, I got an immediate headcanon or theory in my head happening. Because then I want to talk about Yggdrasil real quick too. So they're saying we have to report this to the sun god. Who that 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 made me like i thought we were in the in you know we went back in time and somebody or somebody we were seeing a time uh, uh you know a memory or something in the past because i'm like there's there's, there's no sun god the sun god's not alive uh and maybe in the past somebody was the sun god i don't know but no apparently this is real time and in my head i'm like who's pretending to be sun god it could be loki so Loki's pretending to be the sun god or somebody, but my headcanon is it's Loki pretending to be the sun god and he actually has rubber powers because he ate a rubber fruit. But they know that sun god Nika had a rubber ability, but he probably has the literal rubber fruit, not Luffy's mythical zone type, uh, you know, Nika. That's what I think, and he's lying, and he's also a liar, like Usopp, and he's actually successfully lied about everything he said. So he's Usopp, but it worked out, and it's it's he's he's in he's like an imposter syndrome. He's somewhere he's not supposed to be. I'm just throwing that out there. Just just give it some thought, right? Okay, and then 
Another thing is the bees look huge compared to the, uh, the giant. But unless it's the angle, and it got me last chapter too, because I thought Nami was huge in, in this place too. Uh, there's a lot of like weird inconsistencies about it. Um, they look normal sized, like human sized compared to the bees. But it could be the angle that the bees are closer and they're farther back. I don't know. And then they're also talking about the ear god, a rabbit, which is huge, so big, in fact, that it fell and it rocked the ground like a tremor. How big is this rabbit compared to these people? Like, that's why I'm thinking, like, we might not be in the land of the giants yet, because how much bigger are they? The houses look the same size. Nami doesn't look like it's a, in a place that's way bigger than her, unless it was like a house for the cat. I don't know. There's a lot of things that you're breaking down and it's like, ah. There's some things that don't make too much sense on how big they are relative to giants and humans. I'm, I'm a little confused on, on most of it. Because as you can see, the ship for the giants is enormous. So I don't know, there's some inconsistencies there about the sizing and you know I'm not gonna fault Oda or anything on this but uh, maybe it's throwing everybody off uh, for a loop here. So they were talking about the ear god. That cat could be labeled something else too because it's it's a pretty big cat but not... No, the cat could be definitely like a, a pet cat. It could be it could be like that. Um, what else? So yeah, I was pointing out those inconsistencies, but then when you see the bee next to Nami, it's not like a ginormous bee or insect or anything. It's it's just a little bigger than her. But next to the giants, it looked like a, a huge. It didn't even look like that much bigger than it, than them, you know. So that's that's kind of how I'm breaking things down. But still, not an hallucination. I'm taking it for granted. I'm taking it for face value as what it is. And Nami runs into a hedgehog. <laughs> she runs into a hedgehog, runs away from the hedgehog, meets Usopp, which I love this gag with Usopp. I, I, I appreciate, like, at the same time, I really, really appreciated how nice and slow and easy we start off the, 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 the pacing again, ease ourselves into the, the story, which I appreciate. I love when we start easing and, you know, relax, chill, adventure into a new area, new land. I love it. It's one of my uh, favorite parts. Yeah, like Wano just easing into it. Perfect. That, that's one of my favorite things is like the slow pace of getting into into the new arcs. But we see this cat with a weird giant crown on its head, which I don't know why. And um, other than that, they're running away from the cat. This is where Usopp says it's just an hallucination and takes complete damage from a swipe from the cat and they fall down from whatever floor they were on, but it doesn't look like it's such a big castle or area or house per se, compared to a giant size. And everything looks like a Lego too. That's what I wanted to point out. Legos come from Denmark and all that, uh, but uh, it didn't, it doesn't, it looks a little weird. It looked like a toy house, but apparently all the houses look like this, which this house doesn't look that much bigger, but if we take the other people outside for giants, the house looks the same on all of them. So there's some scaling issues, I think, that Oda's gonna figure out for sure later, if not. Um, he'll he'll uh, address it in SPS. <laughs> I love the dynamic with Usopp and Nami. And just her face, the way Oda draws Nami, just white-eyed. She's like, I'm gonna die <laughs> because Usopp just got swiped and he took a he took a hit. Like I I I'm I'm all for Usopp. Like he's a tank now. He's he's taking hits, he's he's like a mini tank. Uh, granted it's not like a serious opponent, but they fall down. This cat turns into a lion. Why? Cat god, maybe? This probably could be one of those cat gods, transformation gods, because remember, in Wano, they had the Lord of the Mountain, I believe, and I thought it was the God of the Mountain. I don't remember now, because I, I, I'd have to go back and look, but it really, really reminded me of uh, the Lord of the Mountain that the people just prayed to, or worshipped, I believe. Worshipped is the word. Um, and 
they didn't know any better. So they just said it's it's the Lord of the Mountain or Mountain God. And then Odin just slices it in half. <laughs> Perfectly, by the way. They reattached it. <laughs> Insane. But yeah, so it turns into a lion. Very menacing. And uh, then the three, the, the big three. And I, I love these. I love these panels with them where they, they split them up into all three at the end. Where they're all relaxed, taking everything as fodder, granted. Even Luffy saying, oh, we ate the rabbit. How big was this rabbit? And you ate all of it? Uh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. And oh, before I forgot, Yggdrasil. So this is something that bothers me because it's a war-torn land. And they're saying, don't let the flames get to Yggdrasil or we're all, the, the country's doomed. What do you mean by that? I thought this was war torn. Like in the previous flashbacks and, and when we looked at the Atom Tree or Yggdrasil, it was a war torn. It was a robust, strong tree that, you know, you would make the strongest ships out of. Why are we scared of it getting fire? So that's one of the things that, you know, throws me off. Are we in Elbaf? Is that the tree? Is that Adam's Wood? Or is Yggdrasil a completely different tree? I don't know. It doesn't look as big as what we've seen before in, um, in the flashbacks from the time skip or pre-time skip, I think it was, when we looked at it. But yeah, that was uh, pretty straightforward. They're just going through pace, slow pace. New outfits, by the way. I'm excited. That looks sick. Everybody looks awesome in their new outfits. Usopp's outfit looks great. Uh, Luffy with the Viking helmet, it reminds me of when they infiltrated uh, Kaido, Kaido's um, mansion or, or castle. And they have the same black outfits. Beautiful. Love it. And these big three, the dynamic between Luffy, Sanji, Zoro, Nami, and Usopp, and how they're not separated is fantastic. Which also, now that that brings up a point, I don't know where Chopper is. Hmm. But that, that plays a role into, I think somebody was saying about the hallucinations. But these three, all five of them, the original five that started out is so exciting, man. I, I, I want to see, I can't wait to see what else happens in the chapter. But uh, trying to go back, I think I covered everything I wanted to cover in that aspect. And I don't know how much time, I'm 12 minutes in. I don't know how much time. Not time. I don't know if I wanted to talk about anything else. So the Yggdrasil, the Loki playing it off as, as this version's Usopp, which I think would be a fantastic dynamic and mirror to Usopp, where Usopp didn't work out as being a liar and nobody took him seriously, but Loki, who's a trickster in mythology, right, ends up actually being the one that fooled everybody into thinking he is the sun god or he has these abilities or he's communicating to the sun god or something like that or he's the one creating the disasters and and um he's the one that you know comes from from wherever and comes up with a solution for the disaster that he created it's like a pitching an idea to a problem you created so everybody worships you something like that that's what i'm thinking uh, because he's known as the trickster if Oda wants to go with that aspect and that um, play on mythology. But anything else? So yeah, the Luffy has the sword turn into an axe. Sanji's eating insects. You know, that's just some stuff. But I think that it is indeed uh, on face value for what we're seeing. I don't think the hallucinations is going to play a role. If not, it's going to like throw us off or, or set us back i was hoping that we wouldn't well no actually we're in elbaf so we're, we're sooner into elbaf than than i anticipated i was hoping for some bounties which is very unfortunate that we didn't get any bounty increases because all the straw hats got a giant hit on the goro says they they got all the they escaped a, a buster call. They hit all the Gorosays. They escaped. They activated Emmett. It's insane. Like, why are they not? Why are they not increased on damage? I mean, damage. Increased on the bounty. That's... But maybe it's after Elbaf or something like that. Maybe, you know, no big increase. Because if you think about it, I guess... 
how much more can he get increased before he starts getting to Emu? Because he Luffy has to surpass Gold Rogers um, bounty, right? So how many arcs in between are they gonna increase it? I think after Elbaf is probably probably the best time to increase it. Because then there might be one more arc where it gets or maybe that is the arc it, it ain't no because he's three bill he just got it after wano i guess egghead would be too soon after elbaf he goes into the four billion range and before he fights emu he goes into the highest range he's ever been right although that number is like hey he defeated kaido he it's almost like irrelevant what number it is now because who's going to be fighting yonko levels who's claiming that bounty for yonko levels it's just a fun number to to just see go up <laughs> other than that um Yggdrasil does look smaller than what we've seen there's no mountain ranges in the back like what we've seen before and all the castles look like lego pieces which i'm not sure how i feel about that but the Lego pieces are very, very big compared to the, you know, to the Straw Hat crew in size. But other than that, any predictions for next chapter? Uh, maybe it goes back to the other crew, um, you know, Jinbei, Robin, Brooke, and Frankie. I don't know where Chopper is. I thought he was going to be with them. And it goes to what they're doing to, f to find these people. Or maybe, it, no, we probably stick to this. Just keep it slow and see what they're going through. And uh, maybe they start meeting some giants in this regard because they just took out the cat. And I don't think they're going to allow the cat. Like, the, the, the cat turned into a lion. That's, that seems like a special ability. So somebody has to be claiming this cat or somebody's pet cat or, or something. Or maybe it's uh, the lord of some region or area. Which also, it destroyed a part of the castle, like. It's a very strong cat. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah. And Usopp has the, the mustache, which is great. So I think that's the review for me, guys. Uh, I just end up talking a lot towards the end. Uh, not, not sure. I just end up enjoy talking towards the end, just giving my thoughts, giving my ideas. If I talk too much towards the end or if I finish the review, just let me know. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for me. Let me know if you want me to talk about something else. Let me know if the lighting is good. If anybody has reached the end of this video, if the lighting is good, should I change the area? I think this area is a little better than uh, how I had it at an angle before. I have, uh, I think this is fine. I just would want to, I think this area is fine. I have some other stuff I want to put up, but I don't know if I want to make the videos here, a different corner behind other figures. Maybe substitute some figures every now and then. But I'm, I'm getting this whole thing situated. I'm enjoying making these videos. Please let me know if you want me to talk about some other series. Some tackle some other subject about uh, One Piece. Any other mangas, animes. I'm reading up on a bunch of other stuff. Let me know. Please leave me a comment on what you think about the video, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much, and I'll see you for the next one.